Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. Welcome back. A former Lloyd Minster resident has learned the meaning of hard work during her journey to becoming a producer in the city that never sleeps. Now she wants to inspire other women to reach their goals too. Hannah Tita has more. It's on day 18 or so and we're anticipating a five day um, Drake Passage. Apula Akinu is a local woman who has made a name for herself in New York. Her decision to get into production has allowed her to live her dream of traveling and documenting it in a woman's guide to the world. And one of my goals is always to sort of check in with myself and say, if I were to die today, what would I regret? When she has her mind set on something, she's determined. She's like a pit bull. She doesn't stop. Apula completely funded her documentary TV series by working at her father's oil field company. While the contrast between New York and Lloydminster life is significant, she says the ability to earn money is imperative. There's been a lot of moments of, what am I doing here? Why am I in this? Why have I invested everything into something where I don't feel in this moment like I've been a success? And I remember, oh yes, this is what I can do if I put my mind to it. And when I'm up here working for a few months, it's a means to the end. So it's part of the goal. It's not separate from it. Aquino says in television and film, women make up only 18% of the roles. That's what made her decide to start creating her own work. She says a good work ethic will translate into everything, and her message for young girls is clear. I always encourage young women to start working very young. Beauty is just the cheapest commodity. Talent is big, hard work is big, and just as a woman, always like be in control of your career or your decisions in life. Hannah Tita, New Cap News. The power of print is back at the Lloydminster Comprehensive High School. After a hiatus, the school has reintroduced their student-run paper. Bart Pediasek has more on the purple sun and the amount of work that goes into it in this week's Beyond the Classroom. Christmas in the community, right? Checking off the stories that they need, Grade 12 student Marina Day is running the news meeting for the Purple Sun today. This as a group of a dozen reporters prepare for their December issue. According to students, it's no easy feat. We spend about a month writing and then about a week actually editing and getting it ready to print. There's a lot of planning, there's a lot of, you know, meeting deadlines, there's a lot of cooperation from different types of people, artists, writers, so there's a lot of work and dedication that goes into this. This isn't the first run of a student-run paper at the high school. According to teacher Dwayne Jeffrey, the previous iteration even won a provincial award in 2006. Now the monthly publication is back and giving students here some real-world experience when it comes to journalism. One of the things that challenged them was to write something that interests you but will interest most kids who will read it. So it's, it's often about current events and the election was a good example where it's three kids and they wrote three different points of view of what's next. As for Day, she plans on doing an English degree after she graduates and considering a possible future in journalism, so the lessons she's learning here may be used in her career. I've learned that you must be really organized and have an idea as to what you're doing. Bart Pediasek, UCAP News.